And just before the lockdown, I'd been invited by a couple of media houses to conduct a few interviews, to participate in those interviews. And they kept asking, you know, this, we are going to be in lockdown, uh, people are anxious, people are depressed, you know, how is it that people are going to survive, you know? I, I responded to a couple of questions, but later on I kept thinking about, you know, how people uh, become resilient. How are people resilient? How do people survive difficult situations? And as I was reflecting on that, uh, I remember a book that I, I, I went through a couple of years ago. Um, so I went through this book um, called uh, The Double Life of Fidel Castro by Juan Sanchez, Mr. Sanchez, Juan Ronaldo Sanchez. is a gentleman who wrote the book. Now the story goes he was the personal bodyguard of uh, Fidel Castro, he and other people for 17 years. Now he gives us very detailed um, uh, moments of Fidel Castro's life, for example, how Fidel was a, 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 a magnificent, uh, very good um, deep sea diver who when fishing he gives you insights into how Fidel Castro's mind works, he gives you uh, the wealth you know uh, that Fidel Castro has, uh, shows us uh, almost the, the persona, how he was seen in public and what he did in his private life. But why I remember this book was a particular part of uh, Mr. Sanchez's story. And the story goes, um, at some point he had served Fidel Castro for, for 17 years, 26 years in total, but there came a point where he wanted to retire because he, he somehow became disillusioned. And when he wanted to retire from looking after this magnificent leader as people saw him, um, something bad happened. He got jailed. He was arrested, put in a prison, uh, there was a uh, cockroach infested, he was tortured, uh, he says he was poisoned, uh, and, and this went on for two years. And what kept him in the prison is that he, he was angry and wanted to survive so that once he can escape um, from, from Cuba, uh, he would one day tell the story. Now, this reminded me uh, of the book um, Man, Man Search for meaning, where Viktor Frankl also tells a story that when he was in the camps, in the Nazi camps, uh, one of the things that kept him was memories of his life and he thought of the day he would be able to write about what was happening. So these gentlemen, Mr. Sanchez, um, thought about how one day he'd be able to tell uh, the story of Fidel Castro from an insider's look uh, and Viktor Frankl how he fantasized or thought about one day he will write about his experiences of being in Nazi camps. Now uh, there's a famous uh, quote or a popular quote by uh, one Boris Cyrulnik uh, that says that resilience is the ability or the person's ability to grow in the face of terrible problems. He was also in the in the Nazi camps, um, and but managed to escape. Grew up, became um, a social scientist, who then studied resilience. And so these three men uh, have taught us um, a few things about resilience. So I, I thought to share those ideas. So uh, people are able to survive terrible situations if one, they are able to maintain a positive attitude. You know when you're in a terrible situation and people are panicking, but you, you train your mind or you're the kind of person to, to maintain positive, to go throughout the days, to keep your mind sane, to focus on a different day, to focus on not being crushed, not letting your spirit be crushed, but being positive will help us survive terrible situations. Now, the other thing that helps us survive terrible situations is humor. Um, being able to laugh at terrible situations. I don't know if you've ever been at a funeral, very sad, very somber, you know, and somebody might go up and say something very funny or something very interesting about the deceased and, and people would just laugh, you know, people are able to laugh in, in, in that moment. So sometimes when you're going through a difficult time, a bit of humor gives us some reprieve from what we're experiencing. The other thing that helps us um, survive terrible situations is when we make meaning Meaning. You know, there are some people uh, who've been, who are going through a terrible time, but as they are going through a terrible time, they are able to, to, to somehow look at what they're experiencing and see how they can find meaning in that, how they can use that experience to either teach others, um, to either learn something about life, to reflect deep, uh, deep 
uh, to reorganize their lives, they find meaning in, in what they're experiencing. So if we are able to find meaning in difficult situations, we are better able to survive them. The other thing that helps people go through difficulties and difficult times is the ability to see a silver lining. You know, when we are able to hope and see a tomorrow. Uh, people who've been in wars, um, when, they, when they are soldiers, when they ask, how were you able to survive this? They just say, I just had thoughts about going back home. I just thought, um, I just had thoughts about how this was helpful, you know. We're going through this terrible time, and you know, people talk about um, how terrible it is, but I've also heard people talk about how this then gives us an opportunity, it's a crisis, but we have this opportunity to then reshape the world politically, economically, to reorganize our lives. So we are able to then see a silver lining in a terrible situation because always when there's a crisis, there are opportunities. So those who are able to see then the, the opportunities, the silver lining in the crisis are better able to survive terrible situations. The other thing that helps survive a difficult time is to remember that our minds are powerful objects, our, our brains are powerful objects that are able to um, survive a lot of things. So once we go through a terrible time, we are able to heal, we are able to, once we make the connections and integrate our experiences, our brains are malleable and we are able to then um, organize what, we exp uh, what we've been experiencing into something that is helpful. So. So one, uh, people who have a positive attitude, people who have a sense of humor, people who are able to make meaning, people can see the silver lining, and people who understand that the brain can adjust uh, to terrible things, people who have those are able to then better survive difficult situations.